As I move slowly and consistently forward in life, my feet are firmly on the ground, with each step gaining strength from all that Mother Earth has given me. I am soft and sweet on the inside, but my skin and outer layer are as hard as a shell that protects me. Similar to the turtle spirit at the moment, I can swim in the fresh and salt waters of the sea and lakes as well as walk on dry land. The turtle's symbolism stands for persistence, endurance, and longevity. The wisdom from the turtles can teach us about walking our path in peace and sticking to it with determination and serenity. They say that although the turtle moves slowly across Mother Earth, it is incredibly fast and agile in water. The turtle spirit has a way of grounding us during times of chaos. It helps us to anchor our personal emotions. Turtles are connected to the ancient wisdom of the earth that allow them to tune into the elements, land, plants, people, and animals. It is said that the turtle carries the weight of the earth on its back, similar to the way you or I carry the weight of our homes on our back. Do I wish to move at a faster pace? Most definitely. However, when I'm learning something new and transitioning, I tend to stay focused on what is in front of me. I am capable of keeping my eyes on the future vision. At the same time, I must create a stable foundation to weather the storms that may come through. The more I learn, the better I will become. I also know that great endeavors take time. As long as I am consistent and determined, my turtle pace will go from the slow walking dry land to the fast and agile turtle in the water. Did you know that turtles are sacred to certain cultures? I know that when I was in Hawaii, so many people talked about going to Turtle Bay, but reminded us not to touch the turtles. Even if you do touch them, when snorkeling, you can be found and find a hefty fee. Turtles symbolize good luck, endurance, and long life. Turtles can live to be more than 100 years old. They are excellent navigators, and when lost, they can find their way home. Enough about turtles. You may prefer I talk more about the emotions of the ocean. My emotions are there, but I'm not focused on them. Who wants to see me cry? I don't want to cry. I do not know one person in this whole world who can help me control my own emotions other than myself. Unleashing my emotions at the moment would be like releasing the Kraken in the Clash of the Titans. I prefer to handle my emotions in private. That can always change, but for this journal entry, they are tucked away. I'm sure they will come out of their shells soon enough. In the meantime, enjoy yourself and have fun. Remember, no one is promised tomorrow. Sincerely, your secret admirer.